In the wild, wild west, there was good guys, and there was bad guys, and then there was catastrophe. Catastrophe Jones, the rootinest, tootinest, highfalutinous, sharp shootinest cowboy, whatever rode the wild range. All summer long, he and his friends will be bringing their special brand of Bible lessons right here to the Bible Barn at Camp Venture. Let's head on over and learn about the wonders of God's creation. Welcome back to the Bible Barn. Catastrophe Jones here. Hey, guess what? The last four, two weeks, we've been learning all about what happened on the first four days of God's creation. Today, we're going to learn about all the amazing critters what God created on days five and six. Did somebody say critters? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was just telling the kids, we're going to be studying all about the animals that God created. Who are you, sir? My name is Spectre, and I'm the Fish and Game Inspector. Your name's Inspector Spectre? That's right. Well, all right. Uh, well, uh... Well, and you know, if I'm going to need to be animals on display here, I'm going to need to see a license. Oh, I don't need a license for these here animals, Inspector Spectre, because oh. they're on display in the Bible. Oh, animals in the Bible? Mm. I'm going to need to see that right away. Oh, before we do that, I'm going to have to swear you in Camp Venture style. Oh, so everybody right. stand to your feet, raise your right hand, and repeat this after me. I will love God with all my heart. I will love God with all my heart. I will love my neighbor as myself. I will love my neighbor as myself. I will be a light wherever I go. I will be a light wherever I go. All right, y'all can have a seat. Mm -hmm. All right, now, we got to see that Bible. Where is it at? Oh, well, before we open up the Bible, we've got to find out what verse we're studying today. Oh. Yeah, I wrote it down up in that there can, Something. so I'm going to shoot it down. Oh. You might want to get out the way. Oh. Kids, right. get out your make-believe slingshots, and let's shoot together. Ready, aim, fire. Oh. Oh. All right, Good let's shooting. see what we go. Oh. All right out. Oh, you got it? All right, there you go. Let's see, it says Genesis 1. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Now, where's that Bible at? Oh, well, I keep my Bible where any red-blooded American would. Mm -hmm. Where's that? In my chicken coop. In the, in the chicken well, yep. coop. There we go. <laughs> oh, down, boy. Whoa, that's one big bullet. Oh. oh, my. Oh, you know what? I think I remember this lesson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's got a moving picture what goes with it. Oh. I'll tell you what, sir. Why don't you have a seat in the seat of honor? And we'll watch this motion picture together. All right. Take a look. So God created the great creatures of the sea and every living and moving thing with which the water teems according to their kinds and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and increase in number and fill the water in the seas and let the birds increase on the earth. And there was evening and there was morning, the fifth day. Wow, God created so many wonderful creatures. I know, mm -hmm. God's got the best imagination. <laughs> now, as you can see in that there moving picture, God started by filling the oceans with all kinds of fish and sea critters. Mm -hmm. My friends and I, we love to go fishing. <laughs> and then, then God created the birds, right? You got it, yep. The Bible says God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and increase in number and fill the water in the seas and let the birds increase on the earth. And there was evening and there was morning, the fifth day. Mm. Well, I do love creatures of the sea and the birds. Mm. <laughs> That's why I got into helping animals. But what about the animals in the mountains and in the woods? Well, you know, I'm glad you asked that, Inspector Specter. <laughs> Call me Hector. Hector? Yep. Your name is Inspector Hector Specter? Yeah, that's right. Wow. Okay, Hector, why don't you go ahead and read the next Bible verse? Oh, um, oh me? Yeah, go oh, on. All right. All right, there you Let's go. Let's see here. Um, and God said, let the land produce living creatures mm -hmm. according to their kinds, livestock, creatures that move along the ground, and mm -hmm. wild animals, each according to its kind. And it was so. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, we learned about every animal on the sixth day. Not quite every animal, Inspector oh. Hector. Right. God said, let us make man in our own image, mm. in our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air, 
over the livestock and over all the earth and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Hmm. So we people were the final creatures to be made? Yep. He saved the best for last. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, why do you think God did that? Well, I don't know. But I do have a theory. All right. Well, what's your theory there? Well, you know how sometimes you like to surprise someone you love? <laughs> oh, oh kind of like when you throw them a surprise birthday party. Exactly. Now, just recently, we, we had a surprise birthday party for my grandmammy's 80th birthday, and we all got in there and decorated her cabin up, <laughs> made it pretty and perfect before she got home. Ah, well, seeing the look of joy on their faces, half the fun. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe... That's why God made us last. Hmm. Maybe he wanted to decorate the whole earth and get it just perfect before he put us in it. Mm. <laughs> I like your theory there. <laughs> well, thanks. Sometimes I get a good idea. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, now what was that? Oh, that was my dog. It? I left him in my truck. Hold oh, on a second. Okay, he's got a, he's got a doggie in the back of his pickup. Well, that's good. Bring him on out here. Maybe we'll get a chance to meet the doggie. Come on, doggie. Oh, hey, there he is. he's a cutie. Ah, my good old friend, Bo Cephas. Well, <laughs> Bo Cephas, the hound dog. Well, howdy there, Bo Cephas. Hey, Hector, mm -hmm. we always pick a critter of the day. I wonder if the hound dog, Bo Cephas, is today's critter of the day. Oh, well, Bo Cephas always makes my day, but what makes him the critter of the day? Well, I have a theory. Oh, uh, another theory, huh? Yeah. You see, the dog is often called man's best friend. Uh, well, they are a wonderful gift from God. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, Bo Cephas is your best friend. Mm -hmm. And hound dogs are pets. And pets make us smile. And they keep us company. Yeah, so... Oh, yeah, they always make me smile, too. <laughs> yeah, I think the hound dog is supposed to remind us that the pets, the wild animals, even the fish and the birds are God's good gift to us. Uh, I like your theory, Catastrophe. God is always so good to us. You can say that again. <laughs> God is always so good to us. Good <laughs> doggy. Hey, kids, why don't we teach Inspector Spectre our Camp Critter song, and we'll add a verse for old Bo Cephas. <laughs> Miss Kaylee, would you come right, on up here, here and lead the way? Of course, but first, I need Inspector Hector Spectre to help pick somebody to raise our oh, flag. Oh, good let's idea. see who we got out here. Uh, right here, this young lady. Come on up. You can take this one right here. Pull it down. There you go. Oh, <laughs> looks oh, like Bo Cephas. That is there a we go. Oh, yeah. All, All right. right, and you guys have to stand up. We can't sing this sitting yeah, down. Yeah, you got to get on your horse. Come on, let's go. There you go. Mount that horse. Oh, got to get on the horse here. Yeah. Let's mount our horses and let's All go. Right. Take it away, Miss Kaylee. Woo! 